We're now at the stage where we're pretty pro with getting NDI and Spout out of Unreal, but let's look at getting NDI back into Unreal. Say you wanted a screen or a texture that's got some live input coming in. It's really easy, super easy setup. Let's just get it done. So I've got this fat off screen here that I want to have some stuff going on on. Um, the, when I first made it, I made myself a cube plane type thing, but the, the mesh is kind of the the wireframe is kind of odd the mesh is you know it's got some strange topology going on so what we want to do we want to have our live video feed projected on one plane so what you want to do is just create just create a plane really um, I could even just delete this basically drag in a plane scale it up to the same size as your frame wherever you want it hit that 90 this no this way we know we're stretching our uvs across one plane it's not a grid it's not gonna have to be uv mapped it's literally just a single plane i make it fairly centered in my strange organic ball so have it embedded in there a little bit cool ideal and you know just drag in your awesome graphic that you want to use as your test card six six so when you're when you're sending out from obs you can do this by getting your cool graphic you can make it whatever size you want and you can go filters delete my previous one but you can go filters add spout filter fit give it whatever name here and then this name is what's going to show up in unreal i'm going to call this one obs output one change the name okay and that will now be sending out to Unreal. All we need to do in here is go to the offworld side here, get out Spout Receiver Manager. We've played with the sender before, now we're gonna play with the receiver. Drag that into your world, wherever. Add an array element down here, all members. So set this to active, use uh, OBS output one, click that, render target, create a new one, and OBS, uh, OBS render target one. Cool that. A folder for Cine stream. I'm gonna save it in there. Uh, yeah, OBS render. Uh, I'm gonna call it OBS receiver one. Sweet, and look, it's popped up. Super sick. As easy as that, we've now got this in Unreal. So cool. And that's just coming out from OBS. That can be coming from anything that can send this stuff over Spout. Super sick. So now what do we do with it? We want to get it onto this plane. So I'm going to go to my Cine stream level a bit. Uh, get this receiver. You can just go create material from that. Cool it that. And drag it on. Holy shiz. Amazing. I mean, it's upside down, but it's amazing. We got it there. Quick fix for that. I'm just going to turn it around. <laughs> you could mess with the UVs, I guess, but set rotation to zero. Uh, even off these rotations as well. 180. So just like that, we've got we've got it. And because of what we did earlier, the UVs are just on a single plane. This is going to fit to whatever size we make it. So it looks like my screen's not quite. 1920 by 1080 so i'm getting some like some difference in how big it is but i mean as a test that's so awesome so cool so quick cool thing about this uh filters thing is you can choose multiple media sources so you know let's try to get another media source in do this gif and select the gif select it filters out to change the name close and yeah nice now it's in the drop down and <laughs> got this sick next graphic going on. So I hope you can see how that's pretty cool. Um, next up, maybe we'll go into just like uh, setting the UVs a little bit, change that up and mix up this material. We're getting some glare. It does kind of look like a real screen in some light. You got some glare going on, but you might want to get rid of that. So yeah, let's next up looking to just tweaking this material a little bit more.